What's up YouTube, I'm Jack, and this is Y'all Reacts, and today, y'all, we have a video that I am so, so excited for. Today, we got Mariah Carey, Prisoner. Now, I picked this song for two reasons. Number one, because a good bit of y'all were talking about she was rapping on this or something like that, so that immediately got my interest peaked, and then when I searched it up, what do I see in the thumbnail? Curly Head Mariah. Y'all know how much I love curly head mariah that's my favorite mariah for me personally so yeah i had to check this one out very very excited to get into it i know i just said that but i am and i'm not gonna talk too long of course as always i got the lyrics pulled up so let me know what i missed in the comments below along with any info context of this song all that but let's go ahead and get right into it Ooh. Oh, I already love it. Y'all were not lying, okay. Let me shut up, though. Oh. She is talking her talk on this. I love it. <laughs> This course is fire. All right, let me go ahead and pause it right there. I'm feeling myself a little too much with this one, y'all. A little too much. <laughs> and this is on camera. Where shall I get off camera and I'm, you know, by myself in my room. I'm gonna be hitting my little dance, hit my little two-step, doing my little shimmy shake. This is too good. I love all of this. First thing I love about it is actually the chorus because that is what started off the song. It started off with the chorus, which I love that decision. Uh, normally, I think she starts off with like an intro, then a verse, then a pre-chorus, chorus. Love that it started off with the chorus because it is so good, so catchy. And I like how she rings that note out on the prisoner of your love part. It just sounds so good. I cannot say that enough. I also really like the tempo. It's definitely a faster tempo. The closest thing I could compare it to is emotions like as far as tempo goes although it's a very very different energy this i feel like was probably off of the same album as emotions either that or it came out in like a similar time period i mean i'm guessing y'all correct me if i'm wrong another thing i'm loving about it though are the lyrics and y'all probably could guess that just by my reactions I cannot get enough of this, especially with this first verse. She was just talking her talk. This was just so real. And I have to guess that this came from personal experiences. And I don't know what particular relationship she was talking about. But, you know, I know she's been in some toxic ones. I want to read off a couple lines from this first verse, though, that particularly stuck out to me. She said, you always tried so hard to keep me down. But now I'll rise above those empty lies. Stop pretending that my accusations take you by surprise surprise i love it i love it <laughs> so here's the thing if you're in a relationship with mariah and you're in an argument you're gonna lose every time because she's like one of the greatest songwriters ever like she knows how to get her words out she knows how to get her point across if that if there's one thing you can say about mariah and i'm not even talking about her singing i would actually say she knows how to write almost above her vocals she is that good of a writer i mean maybe i wouldn't put it above her vocals i mean she's like the best singer ever so you know you get what i'm saying though I love when she speaks her mind, love these lyrics. All this is incredible so far, and it is right up my alley. And I love the little rapping part too. Anyways, I'm talking a lot. Let me go ahead and run it back a few seconds, and let's get back to it. Don't 
And I love the vocal stacking. Ooh. Yeah, let me shut up. Sorry. I felt that. I'm not gonna lie, I think the chorus is my favorite part. It's so good, it's so good. Bridge time. <laughs> okay. I love it. She did that so elegantly. So elegantly. She got that growl too. I love that. said I'm not a doormat and what was the next line I love the next line too damn what's wrong with the lyrics it doesn't have them up okay that's a shame for whatever reason the lyrics cut off like a verse early but I really like those last lines there I forgot what she said word for word but it was something like I'm not a doormat that's not my format I love it again she says it so elegantly and I've said this before, actually, I love her speaking voice because I've done live performances where she'll do like a spoken word intro. And obviously when you're rapping, you're not singing, you're using more of that speaking voice, I guess you could say. So I really think her voice rapping sounds great. It's kind of deep too, I love it. It reminds me of t Boz a little bit from TLC because when she's singing, it's very high pitch, although she can hit those lower registers. But when she would transition from the singing to the rapping, it almost sounded like a whole nother other person like a feature on the song which is great because it was really captivating to my ear i did not get bored for a second of this at all i would definitely like to hear mariah do some more rapping i don't know if she ever did that again on another song or not i mean i would like to hear her do a, a newer song where she's rapping i know she's coming out with an album sometime soon i saw her do a little tweet on twitter i was very excited about that so hopefully she has some more rapping songs i'll definitely check them out anyways let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit more before i wrap it up i just want to say that overall i I really really liked the energy and the feeling I got from this you know what when I was listening to this I could picture myself like on the beach just like wind blowing in my face screaming singing this song just no one around I'm just carefree I can do whatever I want that's how I felt listening to this I loved it it has a very freeing feeling to it and you know obviously with the title prisoner you know that I guess that's the concept of this breaking away from a relationship or a person that's holding you down I love it and I can definitely relate to this message to an extent to an extent you know I haven't been in some crazy toxic relationships like she has but you know I have had some people hold me down that I had to cut off so I love the message love the sound especially with the chorus and y'all know I don't like to spend too much time on courses but this was just so incredible this definitely has to be one of my favorite hooks that I've done from her I would without a doubt put it in my top five for her without a doubt thank you so much to all of you who recommended this to me that being said that is it for the video and if y'all liked it please make sure to like subscribe 
subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment any requests down below. I will get to them as soon as possible. And if you'd like to further support me, y'all can check out my Patreon link in bio. Your support means the world. I cannot express it enough. But y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in, and peace.